Hey guys, what we have to get started is a uh, warm up sequence. We're going to go three rounds of 10 repetitions of some body weight hip hinges. So sending the hips back, really squeeze the glutes on the way up, keep that core tight on the way down. So 10 there. Then we're going to go 10 I T Y W's, keeping belly braced as you slowly and smoothly transition from your I T Y into your W. So 10 there. Then we're going to go body weight squats, full range of motion. So going down your full depth, dig the toes in, belly stays braced, stand on up. So 10 here with a pause at the bottom. Then we're going to go 10 push ups with a pause at the bottom. So if you need to, go from your knees all the way down, touch chest to floor and press back up. We want full range of motion. So if that chest isn't touching the floor, you want to elevate the hands on a box. Um, so that is our warm up. Three rounds, 10 repetitions of each. Moving on to the next. So part number two, we have four movements. We're going to do a 15 minute AMRAP. So as many rounds as possible of these four movements. Every movement is going to be 10 to 15 reps, depending on what weight you have available. So if something's a little bit too light, go 15. If something's just right or maybe a little heavy, go 10 reps, okay? So first number, our first movement, we're gonna go thrusters. So since this is a very little weight, I'm gonna go 15 reps of my thrusters. Make sure to keep my belly nice and tight. That weight stays about chest tight as I come down and press overhead. I'm making sure I really squeeze the glutes and keep the core tight throughout those 15, movement, or 15 repetitions. Then we're gonna go bent over row. So I have a 50 pound kettlebell. I'm gonna try and go 10 repetitions of my bent over row. So shoulders are back, belly is braced, my back is nice and straight. I'm gonna pull into my stomach, squeeze shoulder blades together, and I'm gonna do 10 repetitions here, okay? 10 to 15 if you have maybe a smaller weight. And then we're gonna go 10 to 15 repetitions of a lateral raise. So belly is braced, feet about hip width apart, elbows are slightly bent, so very soft. Shoulders are down, and then raise the hands out to the side, just like you're doing a T with your arms. So 10 to 15 repetitions here. Again, so maybe we have two heavier weights, so maybe you just do 10, maybe you do five and do five more, but 10 to 15 repetitions of lateral raises. Then we have 10 to 15 repetitions of a deadlift high pull. So hips are hinged back, belly is braced. I'm gonna pull the weight straight up, bring elbows to shoulder height. So squeeze the butt, pull the dumbbell or kettlebell up to chest height making sure to really utilize my glutes and my hips to get the majority of that power. Shoulders are doing the rest of the work. So elbows only to about shoulder height, no need to go higher, okay? So as many rounds as possible for 15 minutes, we're gonna go those four movements, 10 to 15 repetitions of each, moving on to round three, or part three. Part three is gonna take place on the floor. We're going to do uh, some core work. So we're gonna go 30 seconds of work of each uh, movement with 10 seconds of rest in between because we're all we're working core for all three movements, so we'll need that 10 seconds of rest. First one, we're gonna lay down on our back, knees are bent, we're gonna create a hollow body with our core. So we're pushing our low back into the ground, my hands are down by my sides, my neck is up. If your neck is feeling a lot of tension in this, you're gonna support your neck with your hands, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go side to side for 30 seconds. If we can do this without having to support our neck, you're gonna tap your heels side to side, keeping your low back pushed into the floor. So you'll feel that hollowed out. Your abs will be really, really tight um, as you push your low back into the floor. Second movement, we're going to do some sit-ups or crunches. So we just worked the obliques. Now we're going to either go full sit-ups where we come up and touch our feet, pulling the chest through our knees. So full sit-up here. As we lower back down, make sure to keep that hollow body uh, position and don't let your lower back come off the ground. We don't want that lower back extension. Keep the lower back pushed into the ground as you come down and back up. So maybe I don't go all the way down for uh, risk of my lower back coming off the ground. Um, if we're not doing full sit-ups, we can go crunches to so support the neck. You're going to crunch up as high as you can and then come back down, making sure to keep that belly nice and braced. And again, don't go into too much lower back extension. 
So 30 seconds there, 10 seconds rest in between. Then our last one, we're gonna go plank into an inchworm. <clears throat> so we can go plank from the hands with an inchworm walk in and then inchworm walk back out. Or we can also do this from the forearms if we need to. So plank, walk the feet in. You might not be able to get as high, but make sure to keep that core, that front abdominals fully engaged to make sure that we're really getting the most out of this core workout. So again, 30 seconds of work, uh, 10 seconds rest in between. We're gonna go three rounds of that core circuit. Have fun.